Hi friends, I am Uday Sagar Kantpal, and I welcome you all to yet another lecture on data structures on Java using NetBeans IDE. Last time we talked about the singly linked list and the doubly linked list. Today we will talk about another data structure known as stack. But before that, to all my new viewers, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. And if you like my video, please press the like button on YouTube and please do comment and share. So let's begin. So first of all, what is a stack data structure? A stack data structure is a holder of elements for a particular amount of, say, uh, duration. That duration is defined by our operations of push and pop. The push element pushes the element into the stack, whereas the pop element would remove the element from the stack. The element which goes first into the stack would come out last and the element which goes into the la last into the stack will come out first so let's begin so this is so we will create a stack class by default java provides a stack class but we will for practice purpose create our own stack class so that we get to know how a stack works so this is the stack class so I would define a top index initially would be set to minus 1 an array which would store the data in the stack so we define in a final static int max or say capacity itself as 10 we can generalize the element into the stack uh, by using an another data structure called array list or something that stores like uh, array but generally array does not store uh, I mean, the, we cannot predefine. We can we, we cannot predefine the size of a array of a generic type. So let's create an integer type of stack right now. So the first function we would create is the push function into the stack. So public int push int i or int value so now we have to push this in uh, push this into the stack so what will we do first we will if top smaller than capacity top plus plus so we will put the element value into the topmost index of the stack as of now so the first index is the topmost index so array top equals to value now this should also come inside the if condition so we'll place it here so this is it so we will return value here or we will return minus one we can return the top index so right now this what will this push function do is the push function will insert the value into the stack and return the index of the pushed value in from the stack now the second thing is peak function peak function returns the topmost value without deleting it from the stack so public int peak return array top 
the next function we will create is the pop function pop function removes the topmost element of the stack and sets the value of the topmost index to one less than the previous value so we create public int pop so first of all int value equal to array top minus minus and if top greater than equals to zero so this would be the boundary condition and return value or else return zero so the pop will return the topmost value from the stack and minus the top counter so that the next time next value is being popped out of the stack so these three functions the push the peak and the pop function are being created we can test them right now and we can also create one more function in the stack to check if the stack is empty or not so public boolean is empty return top greater than equals to zero so it would return two if top is greater than equal to zero or else it would return false we can also check if the stack is full by the condition however this condition is sufficient all this condition both looks cool now the the stack is being created are of maximum size 10 let's now create the implementation for the stack so we have created the main function now let's create this stack so we have created this stack so we can also create this function is not available in the stack but we can create a print stack function public int print stack top to bottom so to create a stack from top to bottom to print the stack from top to bottom we would have to create for loop in decreasing fashion so for int i is equals to top minus 1 i greater than equals to 0 i minus minus out so a print stack top to bottom is completed now let's start with the stack element stack dot push say let's enter a value 1 into the stack and we will print the stack to make it more interesting 
इंट्यूटिव सो प्रिंट टॉप टू बॉटम सो वी विल फर्स्ट प्रिंट दिस टैग वेन इट इज एम टी so both time it is printing an empty stack so what is the issue is the issue here is we have started it from top minus 1 the index would be top now let's print the stack it is printing an empty stack and then a value 1 into the stack now let's put in some more values into the stack so we have now pushed 10 elements into a array or in fact into the stack now let's look into what the output is Plus F6. So initially an empty stack is printed, then one, then two and one, then three, two and one, then four, three, two and one, then five, four, three, two and one, then six, five, four, three, two and one, then seven, four, five, four, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, then eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, then nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, then ten, eight, nine, eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. So now let's put an empty element into the stack. In fact, into a next element in the stack. The stack is already full. So what will the stack print? So stack has given an error. This error is because we have met the boundary condition. So now it would be in correct condition. So Now you can see the last condition is also printing ten nine eight seven six five four three two one. So eleven is not inserted into the stack. So now let's pop the element from the stack. Stack dot pop and stack dot print stack top to bottom. So now the topmost element is removed from the stack. We can do further as many times as we want. So every time the topmost element which was inserted last into the stack is being printed on the top. So this way our stack is complete. Now let's move on with the condition to check whether the stack is full or empty. so is full stack dot is full here now we can also check whether it is empty is empty by the condition the stack is empty so we find out that the is full condition is correctly displaying false but is empty is displaying true because we have done one silly mistake which many of the students do we have to check the condition that top is smaller than zero or not so this time both the conditions are false so this is the correct code now let's move on let's copy this same code to where we pushed the stack to the full now is full is displaying false and is empty is displaying false is empty is displaying correct condition but is full is not displaying the correct condition the stack is already full so what what is the mistake we are doing in the is full condition the is full condition again the same thing which we did in the push top is greater than equal to capacity minus 1 so remember this this error is being prone to many students who create the stack for the first time and we reciprocated this error in the 
code so that we can learn from it now is full is returning true is empty is returning false and for this condition is full is returning false and is empty is returning false which is correct now we can again pop further more elements from the stack till it is zero stack is now empty now let's check the condition again this time is full is false but is empty is true so our is full is empty conditions are true the stack push and pop conditions are correct and now this is a complete implementation of this stack so let's look out at the final code which is error free this is the push function this is the peak function this is the pop function this is the is empty function this is the is full function this is print stack function and this is the main implementation so thanks for watching my video i hope you really enjoyed it and learned from it and remove the mistakes which commonly students do in when creating a stack bye bye